Hello. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you all for coming out early and being here when it starts. I'm sure that coffee and breakfast help. Uh, so uh, thank you for being here. My name is Eric Westra. Um, I'm a, a, a event producer. Uh, I actually live here in Minneapolis, so I want to welcome you to Minneapolis. Uh, really happy to have you here. Um, I want to make sure, first off, that all of you know that you're like 35 minutes from Paisley Park. Um, that's uh, Prince, Prince's uh, recording studio and home, uh, and uh, I don't want everybody to get up and leave now, but at some point while you're here, if you can make a trip out there, it's most definitely worth it, uh, even if you're just a casual fan. Uh, so I am going to go over some logistical stuff because they give me the boring things to talk about. And then I'm gonna invite uh, Ian and Maggie up here to talk about uh, the more fun and interesting things. Um, so, like I said, welcome to Minneapolis. Uh, first off, everybody should have one of these. It's your badge. Um, and at Reg, I'm sure they pointed out, but on the back we have a map of the space. Wayfinding here is super easy. Uh, Registration is over there, and we're gonna use that as an info desk for the entirety of the event. So if you have any questions at all, somebody will always be there. So right where you checked in this morning, you can go ask questions. Um, and then all of the rooms that have talks in them are right there, right there, right there, and right there. So it's basically, you can walk into a room, walk back out, and you're back in the main space. Um, where the food was this morning, that's where lunch uh, food is going to be as well. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about food. Um, I, we have everybody taken care of as far as uh, dietary restrictions. Um, when you go uh, to get food, there's gonna be a separate table for anybody that, that uh, gave me information that wasn't vegetarian. So there's vegetarian stuff within the main uh, buffet lines, but vegan, gluten-free, shellfish allergy, etc. all of those, um, kosher, uh, you know, anything else besides vegetarian, there's gonna be a table and it'll have a box lunch with your name on it because we wanna make sure that everybody has exactly what they need. If for any reason you don't have what you need or something is incorrect or you didn't get uh, a chance to give us that information, please come tell me or anybody in a blue shirt or a brown shirt, those are our uh, brownish orange, <laughs> shirts. Those are our volunteers. So let us know and we will take care of it. We don't want anybody to not eat. Like we will make sure that you are taken care of. So please just come talk to us if there's any problems about it whatsoever. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is that we uh, have a, a free licensed child care that is taking place at this event and they're actually in the building. So you might see some kids cruising around. Um, we invite them to come eat with their parents if they want to or more if their parents want them to. Uh, and uh, so uh, feel free to say hi and welcome them. They're, they're part of this uh, family as well. Um, captioning. So you may have seen in the slides that we're going by, but we're doing real-time captioning of the sessions in this room. Um, right now they're captioning me. Uh, and uh, we uh, will make sure that those links are posted. Uh, again, they'll be on, on the... Uh, uh, the screen throughout, and there's going to be signs in each each room uh, with the live text. Uh, so, hi Amanda, I know that you are live captioning me from somewhere on the East Coast. Um, thumbs up. Um, also, we have videographers who are going to be uh, filming the talks in these rooms as well. Um, they're not being live streamed, uh, but we will have uh, those uh, uh, available after the event, uh, and I'll let Ian and Maggie tell you more about that, if not today, uh, at some point throughout the uh, event. I wanted to also point out on the back of your badge, there is a safety line. And what that is, is a, a, a very easy way to get a hold of our team in case there's anything that uh, that is... Uh, making you feel unsafe or a situation that you want to report as part of our code of conduct policy. Um, everybody who registered selected that they read the code of conduct. I know sometimes that doesn't mean everybody does. Um, so I encourage you to please read it because it's something that we do take very seriously. Um, it's a way for us all to feel comfortable and, uh, and, and safe in this space and so we can concentrate on taking part in this experience and learning and not having to worry about stuff. We uh, have an extensive behind the scenes uh, poly uh, 
process for how to handle any type of situation. So please, if there's something that you see that makes you feel uncomfortable or uh, just something that you wanna come talk to us about, that's what we're here for. You can either just come to one of us uh, in a blue shirt or you can use the safety line to text or call uh, and it will reach the three of us and we will make sure that you are taken care of. Um, lastly, I wanna mention that tonight is our uh, social event. It is at a really cool place here called uh, Mill City Museum. Uh, it is, it was, it's, it's in the ruins. Uh, they've fixed it up, uh, but there's still some ruin. Uh, it's in the ruins of like the biggest flour mill in the, what was the biggest flour mill in the world. Um, and there's uh, the museum portion, you'll have free reign to go check it out. There'll also be snacks and uh, some drinks uh, and non-alcoholic drinks there uh, for everybody as well. Um, it's not like a dinner, um, so it's something that you should feel free to stop by before or after, um, you know, if you're grabbing food or whatever, uh, and we would love to see you there. So it's at Middle City Museum. The address is gonna be flashing around up here, uh, but um, we, uh, are excited to host it there. It's a beautiful space and it's pretty fascinating uh, look into the history of this area. I think that that is all I have. Is there any questions about logisticy stuff? Is that a word, logisticy? All right, I see no hands. So I'm gonna turn it over to Ian Dees and he is going to um, tell you some more awesome stuff. So give a hand for Ian. Hi, everybody. Oh. Um, whoop. Put that back, sorry. Uh, my name is Ian Dees. I'm a member of the OpenStreetMap US board. And on behalf of OpenStreetMap US and the local organizing group, uh, welcome to Minneapolis. Thanks for being here. It's great to have you here at State of the Map US. State of the Map US has always been a great place for everyone to come together and learn about new pieces of the OpenStreetMap puzzle. Meet new people and share what you're working on. My favorite part about State of the Map US is being together and feeding off of one another's energy. Hearing what everyone's working on makes me excited to, be where, to see where OpenStreetMap will go this next year. That's a map joke. I want to thank our sponsors, especially our gold sponsors, Amazon Web Services, Facebook, Here, Lyft, and Microsoft. You can visit them all at the tables behind you over there. Uh, I'm sure they all have really interesting projects to work on uh, and to, to learn more about. I also want to thank all our volunteers and organizers who are helping to make this event run smoothly. As Eric mentioned, we're in the blue and brownish t-shirts. Uh, so please feel free to ask us any questions if anything comes up. I also want to thank the University of Minnesota for hosting us in this beautiful space. Uh, the McNamara Alumni Center is uh, my favorite venue in the city and probably my favorite place that I've ever gone to a conference, so I hope you enjoy it. And I, lastly and most importantly, I want to thank you attendees. Uh, you're the reason we have this conference and I hope you enjoy your time that you spent here. Uh, this is a, a milestone year for OpenStreetMap. Um, our community had its 15th birthday last month, and this is the ninth State of the Map US. Take advantage of this opportunity to go a little outside your comfort zone and learn new things, meet new people, and share what you're excited about. Keep an eye out for the Birds of a Feather talks. Join us tonight at the Mill City Museum Social. Visit the OpenStreetMap projects table behind you, right there, to learn about other OpenStreetMap projects, community projects, And don't forget to participate, participate in the hallway track out here. This room will be empty, uh, or sorry, will not be used for talks except for keynotes and, and featured speakers. So these tables will be great for just chatting amongst yourselves. There's also a birds of a feather room where you can get together and talk amongst yourselves as well. And finally, if you're on social media, we're using the hashtag SOTMUS. So please participate in that part of the conversation as well. Uh, next, I'd like to welcome Maggie Colley, our executive director, who's been doing a lot of great work communicating with the community. <laughs> yeah. 
tall on the inside. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, thank you, Ian. Thank you, Eric. And thank all of you for being here. Uh, it is my great pleasure and honor to be here this weekend with all of you. Um, we have a great weekend plan. I hope that there's something for everyone. But if there's not, there's always next year, and you can suggest it. <laughs> So about four months ago, I reached out to the community and I asked the question, what brings you to State of the Map US year after year? And I actually got some great responses. I used them in promotion, but I'd also like to read some of them now to all of you. I've met some of my greatest friends in my adult life at State of the Map US. I come to State of the Map US to meet, catch up, and make new and remote collaborator friends to hear what's going on in the community at large, to meet your future spouse, <laughs> to see a new place through Mapper's eyes, to hang out, buy a drink, or just say thanks to the other people who help maintain this great resource. And it's an opportunity to totally geek out. <laughs> so whatever brings you here today, I hope you have a really great time. I'll be here all weekend, I'm here to listen, I'm here to hear your stories, so please come find me. It is my goal to meet everybody in this room and talk to you and not lose my voice by Sunday. <laughs> also in this bag, I have a camera. And with your permission, I'm gonna be taking film and anecdotes and quotes and trying to build a live video of something similar to those quotes I collected four months ago. So if you're interested, Come find me. If you're not interested, I'll come find you. And um, let's make something really cool. With that, um, the board and I will be giving a longer talk tomorrow afternoon. We're going to provide kind of a look at the vision for the future of OpenStreetMap US, a look at the state of the states. And we'd love to incorporate some of your feedback. So if you know, you want to represent your state or give us a quote, please let us know. And we'll be sharing that back tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock in this room. And we'll also be doing a live feedback session. So I hope to see you all back here at uh, 4 o'clock tomorrow. With that, uh, to kick things off, I would like to introduce Kevin Ehrman Solberg from Mapping Prejudice. Kevin, the floor is yours. Thank you for joining us today. And everybody have a great time. Thanks. Thanks.